you ever put something off until it's too late? We know all about that here. I just showed you the footage from our surveillance cameras here at the house and that is a good example of us putting something off until it's too late. Uh, the very first video we did on here of over a year ago on YouTube was us fixing this gate right here. And basically what that was was just postponing the inevitable, which was we we're going to need a new gate. We know all about chasing animals, so we we're going to fix this gate right back here so we don't have to worry about that anymore. Oh, what's he doing? I need a tape measure. We need to take this eight foot gate and make it this size. We already have these on here. Oh, what the heck are you doing? So this gate is shorter than this gate. We don't need this massive gate like I originally had. Rule number 387 of why you don't put things off. We got this gate second hand from a lady who was selling her farm. And I think it was like five bucks. Yeah. She had a 70 acre farm. She was getting rid of everything. She was selling it for probably oodles of money to a developer. Second hand stuff. And it's gonna be great. Yep, that should be good enough. Gotta go to Home Depot, gotta get a post, gotta get, um, yeah, probably some concrete, something, quick crate, I don't know. Sometimes life sort of forces you to do the things that you've been put off doing and the things that you've procrastinated in doing. In our life uh, here, because I think we blame it on business, but sometimes it's just mere procrastination in what we're doing, whether it be at work or on our farm or homestead. Quite sure a lot of you can probably relate to that as well. The thing we need to definitely not forget is that procrastination usually gets us in trouble. In this case, it was the goats getting out and roaming our yard for a couple hours yesterday. But certainly in some situations, it can be way more serious. And I guess in a way, procrastination is really just a fancy name for laziness. I like to think that I have pretty good work ethic, but then I end up putting things off and it ends up sort of uh, not working out that great for me. So if there's anything I can encourage you with today, I hope it's don't procrastinate. Get stuff done, get it done when it needs to be done because ultimately life's gonna force you to do it eventually. So I gotta sit in this for a second. Um, I usually, prior to the pandemic, I was in Home Depot constantly. And so I pretty much know what all the wood prices are. And I was just gonna buy a four x four for this project. And four x four here in this part of Georgia where Home Depot is based, um, typically costs about seven or eight dollars. Pressure treated, four x four by eight. And I was just checking out and I noticed that the 4x4s were outside. And so I told her to ring me up for one 4x4, which is all we need for this project. And she went on to tell me that a 4x4 was $18. Basically over double the price. Are you kidding me? I'm not gonna do that. We're going to track supply. This is ridiculous. I know there's lumber shortages, all that stuff, but double the price, you gotta be kidding me. I'm no price gouging expert, that's bananas. It ain't happening. But yet another example of procrastination sucks. Okay, now we're talking. Got a, I don't know, five or six inch round post, a fence post that's specifically designed for that, which means that they have even more of the pressure uh, treating done to them, which will last longer from track supply. $14. Let's get back home and get this thing over with because your boys got to work. And we got some goats that are flipping out because I don't think being in a barn is uh, really making them feel that great. All 
All right, we got measuring done. Just need to level. We're gonna level this. I'm gonna drill the boards in, and then we're gonna use this really cool foam stuff, which you may or may not have seen on the interwebs before. This is what we're using, not sponsored by them, but we're gonna give it a try because it's really, really fast. It says, sets up in as fast as three minutes. Way better than concrete. We'll put the level on it once uh, we get this mixed in there and level it this direction since we still got a little bit of sway. Okay, after a three hour delay, Ellery's back with a pair of scissors. You're gonna hold those. We are going to burst the seal and then we're going to mix for 15 seconds. Lauren's gonna give the level on this part of the uh, post and we'll get it going. So here we go. For it, our best. Looks pretty pitiful, but supposedly it uh, does grow. And they say to keep the as much off the post as you can, which obviously you can only do do so well at that. So, even though this isn't really like a review video, but this is what it's doing. It literally, I think you'd agree, Lauren, that it looked pretty pitiful when we put it in there. Yeah. It barely covered the bottom, but it's already get this side. It's already covered like half of the area that was down in the How of this hole. How far is it supposed to grow? Uh, it's supposed to fill, it's supposed to be the same size <laughs> as two bags of concrete. <coughs> Pretty weird stuff, man. Technology. We just got a staple on our um, this section of fence that Ellery found to here. Good job. Already putting it to the test. Boom! Gate installed. Chain welded. Terrible weld. Used the original hinge down here. New hinge down there. They oppose each other. They always, that's how we always do it. One down, one up. And it stays in there pretty good. Post. My two second review on that foam stuff that I used instead of concrete. Really strong. Good deal. Luna, that's chewing cud, but she definitely improves. The moral of this story, folks, is don't procrastinate. When it's time to get something done, just get it done. I've procrastinated a lot over the years, and I've learned a lot from that procrastination. I think even now we still have many projects that we've started right when we were about done. We started another project, and I think that sometimes that's just homesteading and farming. We've done it. We still do it but we're getting better. I wanted to end this by saying, don't procrastinate. Set goals and commit. One of the most committed people I know is not actually a person. It's Bertha back here. She's very committed. Bertha uh, committed to running around the yard all day the other day and our entire family and my in-laws had to search all over the woods, in and out, got destroyed by briars destroyed by briars just for her so be like bertha set a goal and be committed